Alright, cue the Halo music. Oh my god, this looks so freaking good. My god, the hops on that marine, dude. Jeez. It's a visible elite right in here. And he makes me very nervous. Oh no! So you get dropped off in the Pelican. Just like you do in the campaign. I oh, hear that care comes trouble here. Oh my god. So this is a recreation of assault on the control room within Halo Infinite's Forge. Basically, just consider this like an actual recreation of Halo Infinite. Oh my god, okay. I know many of us, myself included, were a little let down by the Combat Evolved recreation back in 2011 was? Yeah. Oh my god, you can't even sprint in this. This is hilarious. And you see that my Magnum here is kind of shooting some, you know, the Stalker bullets. So basically, they found a way to make it so then this will act much more in line with the classic pistol by having to be a three shot kill. But basically, they just kind of skinned over the Stalker with the pistol here. So you have a real true feeling of like, oh my god, this really is like what Combat Balls used to feel like. Similar assault rifle, they put 80 rounds in the mag on this one. Okay. This full blast these babies. Oh, wait, I don't need to reload. I got 80 bullets in the mag. Let's just keep firing. Yeah, we go. Oh my god, this looks just like just like Combat Evolved, dude. Like this is what the recreation should have looked like, honestly. Like it's still pretty simplistic because you know it's made in Forge, so it kind of remixed that CE graphic style a lot within this. But I mean, this looks and feels just like the beginning of Assault in the Control Room. All right, here we go. This is a big wow moment, right? Oh my gosh, this is this is Assault in the Control Room, guys. There's, there's no other way to say it. And you got the Banshee flying over too. <laughs> this might have to be one of the most ambitious recreations we've ever seen within Halo of this Forge. Because Assault in the Control Room is a long map. It's a long level, man. Like it's they actually had to break this up into two parts. The kind of downside about playing these type of missions is that there are no extra bullets for like your assault rifle and stuff, so you're gonna run out of bullets pretty quick and then you're just gonna have to switch over the covenant weapons which i would no, know i just always kind of like using the unsc weapons when it comes to stuff dude these turret shields are tough to fight against so you got that shield right in the cover it makes it really tough to see but as long as you hit them with a nice little time sticky nade you'll be fine right there we go and gotcha but i gotta say if you guys like these have a forge videos make sure you tap like and subscribe if you want to see some more content let us know you want to see some more stuff like this links to the uh downloads will be in the description of this video of course Oh my god, he's camoed! No! No, oh my god, he tried doing the backflip on me. Not happening. Oh, I thought I got him. No, I can't barely see him. Just die already. There we go. Nothing left in the assault rifle. Two shots left in the magnum. Made cow. He's a plastic pistol and a pulse carbine, and it's not gonna work out super well, but right, we'll see what happens. They don't do great against health. Yeah, I guess they do all right. They even got the arrows on the ground, too. <laughs> That's one of the design choices that they made within the original Combat Evolved. Like, a lot of these areas can be kind of sceney looking. And so what they had to do is put arrows on the ground to make sure people know exactly where to go. Oh, my God. Did they get the elevator to work on this? If they did, that's amazing. Oh, my God. They did. <laughs> oh, the sleeping grunts, huh? Just like the old days. Oh, hey, he woke up a little bit. Oh, wait, he's moonwalking towards me. There we go. <laughs> I mean, we can pick up like a needler. This is a little bit more useful, I feel. Your little sleepy grunt. Your little dead grunt. Oh, still kind of bad killing grunts, but then also it's kind of fun at the same time. Oh my god, their reload animations are so much slower in this as well. Look how slow this is when it comes shooting the needler. Look how much slower that is compared to the default one in Halo Infinite. That's crazy looking. I will say it's pretty good against those jackal shields. Which in Halo Infinite I've always felt like a little trickier than classic. Well, I gotta follow the arrow. There we go. That's what we need to do. We can carry more than two grenades at once. You can see I have three different plasmas. One frag. Oh my god, here we go. Here's the open space here. Get stuck, nerd. Oh my god, dude. This feels just like assault on the control room. We got the Marines fighting against the Covenant as well, dude. Oh my goodness. Just like the firefight, these turret guys are the worst. Because they track like regular Infinite, but you move like CE. <gasps> More assault rifle ammo. Give it to me right now. Yes. No. Oh my god, this looks so freaking good. <laughs> Halo Combat Evolve just has that certain flair to it that just makes it really freaking cool. First of all, what am I doing? Not grabbing this warthog over here. Come on, come on, jump in, jump in my house. Oh my god, there's a rocket launcher right there. Hang on. I have to pull some audible. I have to make a little bit of a move here. All right. Grab back in the Warhog here. All right, cue the Halo music. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take out this Wraith right here. Don't like him looking- okay, maybe not. Oh my god, this reload animation is so much slower. That didn't really do a whole lot to him. Can I, like, maybe if I run up to him, dodge some shots, hopefully. No! No! Wait, where did my marine friend go? Where'd you go, dude? You, where, where, where are you? Marine friends. Did he get blown up or something? There you are, cowering in the corner. Get in. We're gonna freaking die. Yes, follow me. Come on, we'll jump into the Warhog together. Fine, I'll take the hint. You'll be left on the ring alone. Wait till you see what happens at the end. Vengeance is mine. Oh my God, they got the tank right here. There we go, now we're in the action. Can the Marines jump on the side of your tank? I think they can, can't they? I vaguely remember that from the campaign. Yeah, there we go, you jump it in the turret. Oh yeah, they didn't, these guys aren't saying a chance against this right here. Don't they remember that tank beats everything? Now it does look like you have a limited amount of lives because they had to use the attrition game mode to make this whole thing work. So you can't just keep dying. You gotta be a little more strategic with your plays here, but I mean, I don't think I have to be too strategic right at this moment. Long shot. Oh, we got some hunters down here. All right, ready to meet your maker. Oh God, maybe I did. Oh jeez. I really hope they don't blow up my tank because this is gonna be a very long walk to the finish if uh, the tank blows up. They also do have various different game mode settings for this whole entire playthrough. So you can play like easy, normal, heroic, and legendary. I'm just playing solo. I decided to just jump in and do it on normal difficulty, but you can see you still gotta pay respects. No, don't blow it up. Oh, god damn it, they blew it up. Okay, so I might have gone back and speed ran the mission to get back to this section because like, come on, man, in the in the campaign, you're using the tank. And, uh, well, I want to keep using it. It's, it. You're playing this because you want the old member baby feels and you have to use the tank in this situation to make it feel like you're playing assault on the control room. Is there a vehicle setting where I can have my turret independent from where my tank moves? Because this, this just feels kind of awkward trying to drive it where like, Wherever my cursor is aimed, that's where forward is. I feel like there was like a setting like that in this game. But maybe my settings got reset. That's kind of seems to be a common theme within uh, Halo Infinite. Oh my God, dude, this is just, this is just Combat Evolved. I'm playing Combat Evolved in Halo Infinite. That's just, that's just what this is right here. I don't know if you guys pay attention to the channel often, but you know, we did cover a recent leak of a survey asking people if they would want to see classic Halos recreated within Halo Infinite. And I mean, well, the community is just kind of already doing that right now. I have a feeling at some point the entirety of all Halo classic campaigns are going to be remade within Halo Infinite's Forge now. What is going on with my tank? Because even for Combat Evolved alone, like we already saw recreations of the Maw, which is the famous Warhawk run from Combat Evolved. They made it to like a eight player, like multiplayer version of it. So it was kind of like a race, which is super fun. Actually, this is some of the same people who made that Silent Cartographer remake. We're also in charge of making this remake. I feel like I didn't take that much damage from my tank to be let up this much. Dude, they got like the scale just right within this as well. Like this is Combat Evolved. I know I already said it, but this like seriously does feel like I'm just playing Combat Evolved, but in Halo Infinite. Now it's been a few years since the last time I played, but I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go into this big structure right here. That's one thing combat evolved did so great was just capturing that sense of scale that like these environments that you're in are just so much grander and larger than humans could ever think about making but adding that sense of mystery like how did they make this how did we get to this place oh my god there's a visible no it's a visible elite right in here and it makes me very nervous oh no teammate run another one no way. Okay, here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. So kind of what I was talking about with the tank, right? Where like wherever you're looking is forward. So if I hit S to go backwards, it goes backwards. But if I'm looking this direction, S is now kind of forward, which can be kind of disorienting to control. Because most games where you play with have a tank, your WASD just stay as forward, back, left, right. And wherever you're looking is independent, but not in this game. Might be just one of those things where it works out better on controller. Now there is a part two to this mission, unfortunately, because this level is so huge, but I'm not quite sure how this section ends. Oh my God, why am I Marines crowding up on me? Dude, back up. No, no, that's why I didn't want to run you over. Blow it up. Yeah, Dank really does beat everything. My God, the hops on that Marine, dude, jeez. There was absolutely an invisible Ali around here. There he is! Beat his ass! No! Back it up! Get away! Oh my god, dude. Some of these guys are kind of terrifying, man. Oh, this is uh, like an invisible wall right here. Here we go. Okay. 
we completed mission one. If you guys want to see some part two, make sure you uh, tap like and let me know you want to see some more content. Thanks for watching.